Right, so um, question 86. <clears throat> What we're really looking at here is quite a straightforward question, I think, um, because really fundamentally, when we talk about direct labor, when we talk about direct labor, we're talking about the actual, um, because you see, direct labor um, goes into, it's a prime cost. It's a prime cost. Um, and that's really the classification here, us just wanting to actually know the cost of making the product, the actual cost of making the product. Um, we, can, we, we, we can talk later on, as you know, about factory costs, and all factory costs will go into the, into the product in the end overall, but the, the, the whole trying to understand what a prime cost is of direct materials and direct labor, if you like, is trying to understand what is in the cost of making the actual product in terms of decision making. So in all honesty, the only thing here that where that actually makes sense in terms of going into the product of direct labor is the is the um, the basic pay. Um, supervisors wages, these are indirect bonuses, indirect overtime due to general pressure. So that's not a product issue. It's abnormal scenarios, if you like. Um, and that's not that's not there. Holiday pay, uh, <laughs> that's just indirect. Sick pay for supervisors, that's indirect. In time for cleaning, that's that's all indirect, right? So, if it takes if it takes five hours to make a table, I want to know the cost of these five hours. You see, not that it took you seven hours because two hours were were spent due to machine breakdown. So therefore, I say I want to make seven hours. No, no, no. It's still five hours. These two hours are abnormal. So these just go to general expenses, right? And so that's 86. So it's quite a nice question in terms of being clear again about what direct costs are and how they lead into what we refer to as prime costs. Yeah? Okay, 86.